How to End a Conversation in English from EspressoEnglish.net Sometimes you're in the middle of a conversation, but you want or need to get out of it. How can you end the conversation without being rude or awkward? Well, here are two keys for ending a conversation. The first one is to smile. Be friendly when ending the conversation, so the other person knows you enjoyed the conversation and doesn't think you're ending the conversation because you're annoyed or because you don't like the person. The second key is to make a positive comment, then say you need to go, or give a reason for ending the conversation. Let's look at some examples. Hey, it was nice talking to you, but I've got to run. Okay, no problem. Have a good one. You too. Bye. You can see that there's a positive comment, it was nice talking to you, and then the phrase, I've got to run, that means I need to go. So I give a positive comment and then say that I need to leave. Here's another example of an informal way to end a conversation. Well, I'd love to keep chatting, but I have to head out. My yoga class starts in an hour. Oh, enjoy your class. Thanks. See you later. Again, we've got a positive comment, I'd love to keep chatting, but then a reason for leaving, I need to go to yoga class. Here's one more. Thanks for the book recommendations, I'll definitely have to check them out. Anyway, I actually need to go pick up my kids from school. All right, take care. Notice how all three conversations use a transitional word like hey, well, or anyway, to introduce the end of the conversation. How about some more formal examples, like at work? You can end a conversation at work by giving a summary of the conversation or the next actions to take. This gives the other person a signal that you would like to end the conversation and not continue talking. For example, Okay, so I'll call the distributors while you prepare the contract and we'll touch base next week. Sounds like a plan. Great. Have a good afternoon. Thanks. You too. Bye. Here's another way to do it. You could wait for a slight pause in the conversation, then use this line. Anyway, I should get back to work. Or, anyway, I've got a few more things to take care of. This is an indirect way of saying that you have other things to do, and so you need to stop talking. And the other person will probably say, yeah, me too. See you later. Finally, here's a way to say that you respect the other person's time. Well, I know you're busy, so I don't want to keep you. That's okay. Nice talking to you. This is often used on phone calls when you want to bring the conversation to a close and you are expressing respect for the other person's time and saying that you won't keep talking to them forever. Let's finish this lesson with various ways to say goodbye. We have some ways that we use in both formal and informal English, such as bye or bye-bye, see you soon, and see you later, take care, have a good one, have a nice day, and so long. And among friends and in casual conversations, we have some informal ways to say goodbye, like take it easy, catch you later, or simply later, I'm off or I'm out, and finally, peace, or peace out. Again, these are more informal ways to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this lesson, check out my Everyday English Speaking course. It's designed to help you become a more confident English speaker by giving you phrases to use in daily life. Click on the link in the video to find out more about the Everyday English Speaking course and to register.